Hi all, welcome to our Aptitude Made Easy session. This is Ganesh here and today we are going to discuss about stock and shares which will be interesting topic for your all competitive exams. This video is generally about basics of stock and share which will be useful for you for the our entire series. If you haven't subscribed us, please subscribe and let's begin with this. So to understand what is stock and share, we need to understand what is capital. Capital is the amount we need to run our company or business. Okay. That capital divided into small units which we call share and stock. Which we call share and stocks. Okay. These company will issue in open market these stock and share. Whoever purchase or subscribe this, they are called shareholders or stockholders. Till this we find so the next topic is dividend okay so what is dividend dividend is the annual profit which we distribute among our shareholders is called dividend okay dividend is paid you should keep in mind dividend is paid annually as per share sorry as per share or as a percentage as per share or percentage okay so the next concept is in stock and share is face value now what is face value face value is generally is the value of shares printed on share certificate or like you can say it is issued by company in the open market that is only the face value in question it can come as nominal value or par value also so don't get confused this is face value only they are just different name of face value now the second thing is market value now what is market value it is the value at which stock are sold and bought in open market okay now in market value there are three types of market value which i'll show you now so please pay attention here market value i will denote it as mv okay so there are three types of market value we'll get to know now first is par the condition is like market value is equals to face value this is the par value okay so the second is at premium at premium you can purchase at or sold at premium in this the condition is like market value is greater than your face value okay the third is a discount in this your market value is less than your face value now here i will give you a simple example like your face value is suppose 100 okay so in par it will be the market value will be also 100 or second is at premium it can be 110 120 more than 100 then it will become at premium the third is discount so here your market value can be 90 per share got it so the next concept is brokerage the brokerage is generally the broker's charge for you for investing money on your shares or purchasing shares okay the first point is that when a stock is purchased the brokerage is always added to its cost price second is when a stock is sold the broker is subtracted from its selling price now we move forward like the things to remember face value of a share will always remain same it will never change okay the second is market value of a share changes time to time third point is dividend dividend is always paid on its face value not its market value don't misunderstand that it's very important topic it always paid on its face value fourth is if you know if in your question the face value have not given to you so it always will be 100 you have to suppose it to be 100 only and today we are going to discuss about the second part of stock and shares if you have not watched first part of stock and share please go and watch this because this is based on that video only if you understand that video it will be easy for you to solve these problems if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe so let's begin with our first question first question is if you invest 
15,000 rupees in buying 6% of the stock at 12 rupees 120 each. Find out dividend and RI. So let's find out dividend first. For that, dividend. For that, let's find out how many number of shares are there. You have invested 15,000, and one share is 120. Per share is 120. So we'll get here. Here, yeah, so we will get 125 shares we have purchased. So the number of shares it come 125. How many percent will got in dividend? Get in dividend is 8 percent. As I mentioned earlier, it was 8 percent dividend. In question it is there 8 percent. So in earlier video we have discussed like dividend we paid in face value only. So if in question face value has not given, it is obvious that you will understand it as 100 rupees. So if you do 8 percent of 100 rupees then it will come as 8 rupees so we will get 8 rupees on per share so how many share we have got earlier is 125 into 8 equals to you all know 1000 so we will get 1000 rupees dividend on these shares ok the second is ROI the return on investment we have to find that for ROI there is a formula dividend earning upon total investment into 100. So, how many dividend we heard earned last time? 1000 rupees, and how many investment we have made? 15,000 into 100 so the answer will be 6.66 percent so let's move to us next question the second question is like what will be the value of certain percent stock of to 3200 rupees here 3200 rupees means you have invested these money Okay, at the rate of 96 per share, 96 is just the market value of that share. So you have to find to you have to find the value of these shares. So to solve this problem, first write what we have given in question. Market value equals to 96 rupees. Seven percent stock also, and how much money you invested? 3200 and in question we have, they have not given us the face value so it will be 100 only so let's solve this like how many share we have got here by investing 3200 rupees shares we have got by this and what is the market price for this 96 so 32 into 96 we have to do so it will come as 3072 that is the value you needed okay so let's move to our third question so the third question is what the income will you get by invest in 8% stock of 140 rupees so you can see like in exam you can find this situation okay so all our choices are in percentage so it's a simple trick like you are invest investing 140 rupees how many how percent how much percent of stock it is because dividend you will get by this percent no so it will be your income okay so 8 percent into 100 40 by 7 40 by 7 is equals to 5.71 percent so this b is the right answer let's move forward to our fourth question so the next question is 8 percent interest is gained in investing 
by investing 120 rupees in a 10% stock so what will be the market value of that stock so we have to find the market value in this so for that what we will do so the 10% stock they have given they have not provided us the face value so it will automatically take come as 10 rupees per share the dividend will come as 10 rupees per share so this 10 rupees will be the 8% for that guy okay got my point so to find that by investing 120 rupees how much will the market price is so for that 10 upon 8 into 100 so the market value for that is 125 rupees so that's all for today if you have any doubt that related to this lecture please comment below i will personally help you if you are looking for any kind of job please register to freshersworld.com and please subscribe to this channel for getting more updates